Well, you guys, I'm just fixing my screw. I just finished taking off um the top piece here. Five hundred harder cat. A five fire cat. I just let it drain. <coughs> I'm just taking off this part. I can't reach that one with um with my tool. That one's kind of hard. I got the parts for it. The whole top end of it. These bolts are all different kind. The person who had this before is um must have stripped it or something. This this side is the strip side. One that has different bolts. It's a weird setup. Cause the pipe goes goes this way all the way around. Goes to this part. And yeah. I just gotta take off the muffler and then I'll be back with you. Well, I'm trying out this little swivel thingy. And yeah. It's kinda hard. Well, I just decided to um, take off all these bolts here. And, um, Cause it's too hard to take out that bolt, so I'll just leave the muffler on. And yeah. Well, guys, there you have it. I finally took it off. It took forever because I used I used duct tape. And you're wondering why? If you're wondering why, it's because um I didn't have these things were broken before. They're all worn out and used up. So I taped them with duct tape and I cut it through. The same thing. Well, it's gonna take a while to take off all this duct tape surrounding it. And yeah, clean out, uh, put some cloth through there. Clean out the pistons. Take off the pistons. That ain't much work. It took me about 10 minutes to take it off. Or 5, 5, 10 minutes. Look how dirty that is. Didn't work real, really good. Cause that, that's antifreeze right there, I'm not too sure if you can see it. Or the camera can't pick it up. It's all black. I gotta take off these, and then I put those things in there, in between them. And yeah, and I should be done. Unless I take off these. And yeah. I use the crowbar. Well, I'm just cleaning it now. No, oh, should be nice and clean now. Uh, this side. Doesn't look like there's nothing in this one now. Now I just gotta clean these parts right here. These parts are clean all those parts. Scrape off this this um duct tape with um a razor. And even on the uh, Cylinders in here on this side. And yeah. So I'll be back with you when I put uh, everything back together. I think. I finally put my pistons on. It took me a while to get on this one. I put this one backwards at first. Because uh, this little point is supposed to be pointing out to the exhaust side. Both points. Yeah, missing a bolt, but I got this one for it. Yeah, I just gotta put the cylinders on. These things, the rubber pieces right here don't fit the one right here. 
Not too sure if that's normal or or not. This one barely fits. It's kind of bent right there. The anti see the anti freeze was leaking from this side. The cylinder is for this side. The cylinder. And yeah, I'll just put those back together. So stay tuned and keep watching. Didn't even take that did even take me a minute, a minute or did even take me two minutes. I just put those on real easily. Now I just gotta bolt them on. So yeah, it took me a while, but I put it all together. Just gotta put the spark plugs on and uh, the muffler, and I'll be done. Now I'll start it up. Well, I'm gonna start it up now. Get off. 
you guys have it. Well, I have it. I'm to log it to Put this down just a little bit. Okay, I'll start it up again. Okay.